So you need to select the rows color balance command layer and for this layer what we're going to do is go into image and adjustments and we are going to pick the color balance command now the problem with this image is that it's got way too much blue in it and sometimes you know over time images do get discolored so what we're going to do is decrease the blue. So we're going to do that by increasing the yellow. So dragging it over towards yellow gets rid of some of that blue. So, and this kind of gets into personal preference. Uh, somewhere between negative 60 and negative 80 is where you're going to want that. Uh, we're also going to add some green because this background should be green. So we're going to bump up the green. Okay, so for the green, you know, around 75, I'm going to let you guys kind of use your own judgment on that. But it should be around, around 75. And then we're just going to increase the red just a little bit. and then we're going to click OK. Now with this type of correction it did change the pixels in our layer. Okay. Now what we're also going to do is brighten this up just a little bit. So again we're going to go into image adjustments and we're going to choose brightness and contrast. And we're just going to bump up the brightness a little bit because it is fairly bright already. And we're going to increase the contrast a little bit more. So somewhere between 30 and 50. And you guys can probably see all of yours on your screen. But I'm trying to keep my window small to keep the video small. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty much what it should look like. We're going to click OK. okay. And so we've just adjusted this one layer for the color and the brightness. So we're going to go ahead and save our changes. And then we're going to go over to the Dillon Colorado picture, which over time it's kind of taken on a yellow kind of greenish tone. Uh, You'll notice that this actually should be white. It doesn't look very white. So you want to make sure you're on the color balance layer. And we're basically going to do something similar here. So we're going to go to Image, Adjustments, and Color Balance. Now this one's got too much yellow. So we're going to bump up the blue. And the minute you start dragging you know, towards blue, you are going to notice that it looks a whole lot better. Okay, so just moving it a little ways over into the blue is really going to improve what it looks like. You know, and somewhere around 50 would be good. Uh, we're also going to bump up the Sion on this. And, you know, around negative 20 would be good. And then we're going to decrease the green just a little bit. You now between negative 5 and negative 10. And you can kind of see the effect of decreasing the green if you look back here on that's supposed to be sand before. The sand uh, almost had like a green tone to it. And as you decrease here, it, it's starting to look like real sand. And you should also notice that the canvas actually is looking more white. Now I'm going to click OK. If you can't remember what it looked like before, turn off the layer that you're on. And you can see how hideous that looked before and how much better it looks now. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and save your changes. Don't want to do save as though. 
And then the next video is going to show you another way to adjust color because the techniques that we just used actually change the pixels on the layer. That is not normally how I would adjust color. There's a little better way to do it. And the next video is going to show you how.